Hello, everyone. First and foremost, you must export either Genesis 8 male or female from Dead Studio. Remove the character's eyelashes and any other wearables. Set the resolution to base. To avoid future conflicts, remove all morphs such as navels, nipples, and lashes. Otherwise, when you import the model back into the Dead Studio, you'll get the Jamutri didn't match error message. Then save it as an obj file. In my case, I'll simply export it to iCloud. Please export your model carefully following these settings. You might want to save it as a preset to make it easier to use the next time. Head over to the settings in Nomad Sculpt and make sure you turn this option on every time you import a model from Dead Studio. Now I'll directly import the model I exported earlier to the iCloud. Before you begin sculpting, keep in mind that, as with any other 3D modeling program or app, you can do anything except change the geometry of the original Genesis model. Apart from trim, split, tube, and lath, you can use any tool from here. As I previously stated, you cannot add or remove any existing geometry. Take care not to experiment with voxel remesher and dynamic topology. It is fine to add higher subdivisions and sculpt at those higher levels, but don't forget to enable this option. If you forget to turn it on, your model's teeth and mouth will be deformed. Keep in mind that before exporting, you must return to the lowest original level. It cannot be exported at a higher level. That is something that only the Dead's publishing artists have access to. The last thing you should notice is that the smooth shading option is not enabled. If you do, the teeth and mouth of your model will be deformed during import. When you're finished sculpting it, you can save it as an OBJ file. I'll export it directly to the iCloud once again. You can also use pCloud, Dropbox, or any other similar cloud service. When we go back to Dead Studio, we can import the OBJ from Nomad Sculpt using Morph Loader Pro. Make sure you use this setting exactly as shown. There will be no errors at this stage if you followed the steps in the tutorial. Navigate to the Parameters tab and select the Morphs tab. Click on the Settings icon to change the settings as desired. If you're doing the Full Body Morph, you might want to make it appear under the Full Body tabs inside the Shaping tab. If you pose the character now, your mesh and bones will be severely deformed. It's because you haven't adjusted the character's rigging to the new imported morph. To do so, go to the Tools menu. You can enable this window from the Pane tab if you don't see it. Choose Joint Editor. Select this option by right-clicking anywhere in the viewport. And then click OK. You are now ready to begin posing your character. The following step is to integrate that rigging setting into your new morph. As a result, you will not have to adjust it manually again. Right-click on your morph and click Edit Mode to turn it on. Then, right-click again and select ERC Freeze. Click Accept. However, if you close the Dead Studio, you will not see the morph. You must save it as Morph Assets to prevent this from happening. Set the location on your disk where your morph should be saved. You must locate your morph in the list below. It will be located where you previously specified in the setting of it.
Congratulations! Everything is set up and done now. You can apply that morph to any Genesis 8 female model. Consider supporting me on Patreon if you enjoy my videos.